Hello, in front of me I have Honor 400 Pro and in this video I'm going to show you the speed up tricks on this device. Alright, so let's begin. Uh, we can begin actually with opening up the developer settings and a few things that we can uh, adjust right in uh, there. So let's open up our uh, normal settings. Let's scroll down into the bottom until we found the about phone. Now we need to tap on the build number a few times until we will see that we are a developer. Now we can go back. Let's go into the system and update. And in here we also have the developer options. Uh, and now we need to scroll down until we find the three mm, specific options. Let me show you which one. Okay, here they are. Uh, it's the window animation scale, transition animation scale, and the animator duration scale. As you can see, currently they are set on 1x, but if you want to boost the performance of your device and its speed, you can select each option into off or 0.5. Just like that each three of them and now it's set but remember not to go uh, higher don't go higher than 1x so or just leave it on 1x or go lower just like me for example of course you are doing uh, everything on your own because developer options uh, are a specific uh, kind of options so you need to have that in mind and uh, now we can scroll down also mm, until we find the apps and in here we have the background process a limit. Uh, defaultly it's on the standard as you can see but to boost the productivity uh, sorry the uh, performance of your device uh, we can select at most three or at most four processes. Okay and that's basically all what we can uh, adjust in the developer settings. Now let's go back mm, and from here we can go straight into the storage uh, and, in here, and in here when we have a possibility we can click on this uh, button cleanup. It's always uh, that it's always good uh, from time to time to check if there is something to be uh, cleaned up mm, because for example in my case I have 305 megabytes of junk files uh, and are here mm, they they're useless basically uh, and below we have the duplicated files mm, we can also click on cleanup select one of those mm, one of those items then click on delete just like that, boom, and now duplicated files uh, have has been uh, successfully uh, deleted. Uh, also, uh, in here we can go straight into the apps, uh, and in here, basically, if you have some of the apps that you are not currently using, or you are using them uh, very rarely, uh, or uh, you never use them, you can simply <laughs> uninstall them. Uh, you can do it from here, from this, uh, from the app level. Uh, click for example uh, on the PUBG and now click on uninstall just like that mm, then click on this red button but uh, remember that if you don't want to do it for, uh, do it from here you can always do it from the home screen uh, oh, I, mm, I accidentally launched it but in here also as you can see you can click on uninstall then click on OK boom and now the PUBG has been successfully uh, installed. Uh, also, uh, you don't need to um, only uninstall, but uh, you should have a possibility to actually clear cache from the apps. Uh, I don't know why it's not possible in here, but maybe uh, it will be possible uh, when we open up the settings and apps. And now click on manage apps, just like that. Uh, and in here as we go into the storage. Okay, in here we have the cache, but for example, on the Asphalt app, uh, there is no cache, but f uh, I think on the Facebook, uh, there will be something. Oh, actually not. Uh, maybe let's try to find something else. Maybe the photos, but I'm not sure. Okay, in here we have a possibility to clear the cache. Boom, if you have the possibility, from time to time you can simply clear the cache from the uh, apps just like I did it uh, now uh, from here we can go straight into the system manager 
and let's click on cleanup. Uh, but before, if you have a possibility to optimize, simply click on that button right in here. In my case, uh, unfortunately, I cannot uh, do this because uh, it's 100% and <laughs> simply I cannot use this button. But we can click on cleanup also. Mm, and here again, uh, you don't need to open up the storage space to open up the cleanup. Uh, you can also get access to it from here. All right. Uh, below we also have mm, the battery mm, and if you want to improve mm, the uh, speed of your device we can enable the performance mode right in here uh, so now we will have the maximum performance but the consumption of our battery and the temperature of the device will increase uh, so I would say that you should use this mode from time to time because you know for example overheating your uh, battery or keeping it uh, for a long time on a high uh, temperature uh, isn't good for the health of your battery uh, but of course you're doing everything uh, up to you and by yourself uh, so now uh, we can also go back from here and open up the display settings let's find the display and brightness mm, and if you want we can click on the screen refresh rate and set it on high. So now we will have 120 Hz refresh rate and it will look in the best way possible. Also when you are using your phone, from time to time you can open up the recent apps and simply close the apps that are running in the background if you don't need to, you know, switch between them in a short period of time. Mm, Alright, and the last thing I'm going to show is uh, how to perform a simple reboot because rebooting your device from time to time for example uh, once a week is good for your device health because during the reboot uh, you basically close the processes that are running in the background and also the RAM gets uh, freed up uh, so to reboot this device uh, we need to open up the power menu first let's tap the power button and the volume down button at the same time Uh, sorry, uh, power button and the volume up button, my bad. Uh, and now, tap on restart, simply tap again. Now, as you can see, the screen went black, the device has been turned off, and now within a few seconds, it will be turned on automatically, and the next thing you need to do is to simply set up your device. All right, and that's all in this video. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe.